The effects and side effects of neutering are caused by changes in sex hormones, especially oestrogen and progesterone in females and testosterone in males. Now in this guide, I'm going to compare the hormonal effects of neutering to hormone replacement therapy in humans. And there are two reasons why this comparison is valuable. First, it's easier to understand the complexity of the subject and the difficult decisions people face when we put it in a more familiar human context. Second, veterinary surgeons who discuss the risks and benefits of neutering are sometimes accused of bias because they're the ones performing the operation. However, I'm not biased in this instance. As a veterinary orthopaedic surgeon, I'm highly qualified to analyse the science, but I don't perform neutering surgery, therefore I have no personal agenda. Similarly, as a man, I can only see the subject of hormone replacement therapy from an outsider's perspective. So I'll try to present the information respectfully, accepting that people's personal choices will not have any direct effect on me. At any given time, nearly one in three women are either perimenopausal or postmenopausal. During perimenopause, levels of the hormones oestrogen and progesterone fluctuate. After menopause, they decline and stabilise. Over half of menopausal women experience distressing symptoms, including brain fog, anxiety, weight gain, joint pain and memory loss. Eight out of ten suffer sleep disturbances. Now, although HRT is an effective treatment for distressing menopause symptoms, its safety has been the subject of much debate. In the early 2000s, two large studies, the Women's Health Initiative, WHI, and the Heart and Oestrogen Progestin Replacement Study, HERS, found that HRT was associated with an increased risk of breast cancer, heart disease, stroke, and blood clots. According to the UK's National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, abbreviated to NICE, for every thousand women aged 50 to 59, 23 are diagnosed with breast cancer, and another four cases are seen in women on combined HRT. So does this mean that hormone replacement therapy is unsafe? Now in the early 2000s, many doctors concluded that it did, leading to a dramatic reduction in HRT prescriptions. Now each generation believes their truths until they're proven false by the next generation and so it proved for hormone replacement therapy. 20 years after the publication of these two studies, the truth's been updated. And we now know, for instance, that oestrogen-only HRT lowers breast cancer risk. And other proven benefits include a reduced risk of colorectal cancer, osteoporosis, and dementia. Indeed, for many, but not all women considering HRT, the long-term health benefits significantly outweigh the risks. Now I've presented data published by menopause support groups based on government health guidelines. Now the same support groups emphasize the importance of context. In other words, HRT's risks and benefits should be compared to the other factors which affect someone's risk of developing cancer, osteoporosis or dementia. For example, for the 23 women aged 50 to 59 diagnosed with breast cancer, an additional three cases are seen in women who smoke, and five additional cases are diagnosed in women who drink two or more units of alcohol per day. Now, it's not all bad news. Exercise is highly protective, with seven fewer cases of breast cancer diagnosed in women who take at least two and a half hours of moderate exercise per week. But the factor with the greatest influence on breast cancer risk isn't HRT, exercise or alcohol. It's excess body fat. Being overweight or obese more than doubles breast cancer risk, with an additional 24 cases diagnosed in women with a BMI equal to or greater than 30. Now, how is this relevant to a dog owner who's trying to make an informed choice about neutering? Although the hormonal starting and finishing points are reversed, the take-home message is the same. 
permanent changes in circulating sex hormones produce benefits and harm, but excess body fat can only do harm. In dogs, just as in humans, being overweight is much worse for their health than having altered hormone levels. But the two are closely linked. On average, neutering a dog significantly decreases their calorie requirement while increasing their appetite. And this is, of course, a recipe for weight gain. So it should be no surprise that neutering is a risk factor for conditions which are themselves strongly linked to being overweight. Conditions like hip dysplasia, cancer and urinary incontinence. The best way to reduce the risk of these conditions is not to focus solely on neutering. We also need to take action on excess body fat. This is a serious problem that's been understated or ignored for too long and it's harming our pets just as it's harming us.